folks, and welcome to season five of Most Cowbell. And uh, we're changing things up. You notice I have a twat knot, I mean a, a top knot, uh, changing my look. Well, I don't know if I'll keep it, but changing everything. Changing my format. Uh, I got the new guitar of Imaginos 2. It's a, uh, another Taylor 8-string, Garitone, and uh, yeah, I've got a new theme song. We're not having it at the beginning anymore. We're having it at the end. And uh, so what's been happening for me uh, this year so far is uh, Imaginos 2, the follow-up to Reimaginos. Uh, it came out in November and was uh, very successful, made the charts, so that's pretty cool, album charts, Hot 100 uh, sales, and uh, yeah, I haven't been, you know, I mean, uh, the COVID, the shutdown is still in effect, basically, there's no... Sh no live shows for musicians, although they're supposed to be coming back very soon. I think there are some people that are doing them already. Um, I probably will not do that uh, right away. Uh, I have uh, still quite a bit left to do for this album. It's only March 2nd, so uh, the album will be uh, done, hopefully by May, but I have other things that are going on as well. Uh, uh, the first Dictators, the first new Dictators record came out uh, about two weeks ago, and the next one is coming out in April. Uh, we recorded four songs originally, I think I might have mentioned that, but um, in the last year's vlog, I don't remember. Maybe not, I got involved in all this other stuff, but uh, yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to record another uh, six songs uh, sometime this spring. Uh, and as I say, the, uh, the next song will be out, I think it's like April 10th or 9th or 7th or, I think it's the, maybe the 9th. Maybe the ninth, but the the, uh, the ninth is also the day that uh, the uh, Reimaginos vinyl is going to be out. So um, if you haven't got them, they're so you know they are def absolutely going to sell out. We made only made five hundred, which is well, that was a mistake, I guess. But um, and so far we've uh, sold about uh, three hundred. And we have orders from uh, uh, our, our partners, Warner Brothers, uh, for another 300, which of course we can't give them. So uh, we'll give them what we have left. Uh, I managed to get a couple copies for myself. Of course, uh, I had promised to give them away, so I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to give them away or uh, maybe I need to order some before maybe I just go online and buy some before they're all gone because uh, they're pretty cool yeah I'll show you what it looks like this is the album and uh, back it's big the inside look at this inside it's got all the lyrics they are exactly the way I sang them. Uh, maybe not the original way, but they're how I did it. And uh, there's liner notes over here by David Frick. I don't know if you can see that. David Frick. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> the, uh, the, the records, um, they look stupendous too. Got uh, Each side has a different label on it. And, uh, of course, this one is translucent green so I got translucent colors I could get two colors on each record but I would have to go for opaque and I I like the idea that uh, you can see through this material so I like that um, 
So as I say, I'm working on uh, Imaginos 2 to be called, I don't know, uh, it, originally it was going to be called Bombs Over Germany, but then I've uh, retitled ME262 to be Bombs Over Germany. Now do I want, M I might go back to Bombs Over Germany. Uh, I it had gone with uh, Minus Zero and Counting, which was another possible title, but I don't know, minus has a negative connotation. Now, on the other hand, uh, even though I'm using a, a lot of the same musicians on this record uh, and the same instruments, it's going to be uh, largely acoustic. Uh, I played almost all the acoustic parts on this, this uh, baritone here. It's a little bit nicer than the last one that I had. This is the, uh, the um, 326. It's got a cutaway, so as I can play up high, I can actually do some leads on it. On it, it's the action is really low. It's it actually buzzes a little bit, but I actually like that a lot. And I've said actually, actually quite a few times. So I'm actually not going to say it anymore. Hopefully, I'm using that that little loop loop that I uh, started out with. Um, is uh, a riff from one of the songs. I'm not going to tell you what song it is. It's a song that was written originally by Joe, and I don't know if he, either he or Buck Dharma invented that lick, uh, but uh, I have twisted it around inside out and uh, made it into something different, so as I want to do. Uh, so uh, none, none of the songs are done yet, but uh, there are at least half of them that are getting getting there. Uh, ran out of frets. Anyway, uh, so that's what you can expect from this year's most cowbell. It's uh, I think maybe I'll de-emphasize the cowbell a little bit. I'm going to take the uh, the um, the exclamation part marks off. The title, I think that was uh, more or less a sarcastic uh, reference to uh, a certain person that used a lot of uh, exclamation points in their Twitter feed. So, anyway, no no need for that anymore. <laughs> it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? So, uh, but anyway, um, like I say, I'm I'm really excited about this new record, and uh, and we'll be updating you on the process process as we go along. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, cool things that have been happening, uh, collaborations with other people, not just the dictators, but uh, with a bunch of people. I don't want to really talk about it until it actually happens, but uh, it could be very cool. So um, anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. So uh, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my vlog. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.